Hi, you are looking at the score sheet of the second session of Vanderbilt 2022 final. It was Rosenthal versus Gupta T. The first segment was even, as you can see. Gupta lost the second segment 14 49. A quick look at the score sheet shows a string of losses from board 24. Quite likely, one of the players got flustered by the big occasion and made some unpushed errors. Nerves can fail anyone, anytime. It is best not to discuss this type of errors. What I am more interested in is the technical or conceptual errors. We discussed board 25 in the video I published yesterday. Link to that video is given below. Let us discuss board 24. Here is a look at all 52 cards. North-South have a 5-3 speed fit and also a 6-3 diamond fit. Whereas East-West have a 4-4 hard fit and also a 5-4 club fit. The law of total tricks would suggest the number of total tricks to be 9 plus 9, 18. But because of the double fit, the number usually tends to be slightly higher and closer to 20. On this board, the four-speed game is touch and go for north-south, whereas four-hard game is within the reach of east-west. Still, if the second suit fit is not revealed in the bidding, players would not be bold enough to try again. In some bidding methods, the second suit fit will be evident by inference and the bidding will be a little easier. The play is interesting. In fact, for north-south, from north side, poor speed is almost cold. To give declarer any sort of headache or to test the declarer, East will have to lead a small club that could begin a forcing defense. However, if nor discards a heart, a loser on loser play. Yes. So four speed will make on a small club lead by east. It will not make on a small club lead by west if south were to play it, but that is easier said than done. What about four heart by east? That will go down on a red suit lead, but with a club rough on the cards, South would be reluctant to lead a heart. Similarly, a lead away from Jack to 6 is a bit risky. Now, one understands that leading away from speed ace is much more risky. However, if the bidding reduces that risk, mitigates that risk, if North shows a speed support, South could will consider leading away from the ace of spade or leading the ace of spades. As it turns out, a spade lead will seal the contract, a red suit lead will be it. Let us now examine the table play together with the comment. Note that at least some of the commentators aren't really the best in class. Many of them are amateurs who enjoy commentating. I don't think there is sufficient funding available even in a 21 trillion USD economy to support good bridge commentators. There never has been. Over to the closed room now. The commentator mentions that Kibbs have not been kind to Vinita in their private messages to me. But they can't criticize her play on that deal. Must be about the last day. She is the sponsor of the team, I would guess. In India, we would never have been so unsympathetic to a sponsor. But we are watching a North American championship where Faith Vestia told me that the respect merit more than money anyway. In the bidding, North West passed and North passed. East opened one club. It seems like this was a standard one club opening. We don't have alerts or explanations. We will have to wait till US GDP reaches USD 100 trillion to expect that sort of information for view graph 
viewers and audience, let us make do with guesses instead. We also notice that the commentator mentions guess them as a ritual without explaining what it means, but that is okay too. Now, South overcalls one speed, which doubles mostly to show for Carter Hart. What is the right bid for North? Give a bit of thought to it before you look at this bid. At the table, North used the two club ritual to show three card support to speeds. Having found a four for hard fit, East happily bid two hard, West raised to three, and East bid one for the road, finally reaching a game. South was on lead now. In this case, Vinita Gupta lead speed ace. I would not fault her, but check out the commentary. That was an unlucky lead, one commentator says, but the other says, not sure unlucky is the right word. So that means he believes that it was not a correct lead. And he questions, unsupported is diamond a reasonable alternative. I don't quite agree with it. As we have discussed the lead alternatives, I leave the judgment to you. Who was most at fault for the minus 420 score that we see here on the scoreboard? My vote would be for that two club bid. I would prefer a one note run bid here, not two club. It protects the minor suit owners. It gets across the message that North has values in cards in all the suits. And it rides sides in Otram contract, should that be the base spot for North South. On that backdrop, the two club bid sounds like a ritualistic bid to me. If North had bid one Otram, South might have rebid three diamond at the next turn, and North South could well have avoided defending a hand where each side had a double fit, and the lead and defense was a fraught affair. Over to the open room now. West passed and North opened one club in the second position, East passed. If you have viewed my videos about the plight of the overcaller standard one club opening, you would be aware that this is the situation where the defenders are hobbled by the system's policy. Not much innovation has taken place in this area of bidding. Not much has been allowed to take place. If East had the freedom to overcall one heart on four cards, East could well have done that. But not holding any ace and not having the five required cards for a one heart overcall, East chose to pass and East West remained silent throughout the bidding, selling the hand to a 17 HCP 5 3 fit 2 speed contract when between them East West held 23 HCPs and 4 4 heart fit. Faith Westia believes that it is an example of very good bidding, perhaps. She believes that it is top class cutting edge bridge. Maybe it is. That was all I wanted to note about deal 24. I hope you liked the discussion and I hope it made you think a little bit. Thanks for joining. Bye for now.